Hello everyone. Welcome again to this channel. Today, our one of the interesting uh, session with UiPath and uh, one of our host who is having more than six years of experience in RPA domain and he is working uh, with one of the uh, top banking industry where he has developed several uh, interactive or um, interesting application for their use cases. So his name is Uddhav Deshmukh. So let's start with discussion with Mr. Uddhav. So over to you, Uddhav. Uh, uh, our viewer is expecting uh, one small intro about you. Uh, then we'll begin with uh, this complete session. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Deepak. So uh, hi, friends. My name is Uddhav, and I'm having around six plus years of experience. And I'm currently working as an RPA developer with Topmost Bank in India. And uh, uh, like uh, uh, my roles and responsibilities include like uh, pure development into RPA, business process implementation. That's part we are doing currently. So that's a small information about me. Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, uh, the small intro about uh, yourself. Udo. So let's start with the uh, actual uh, uh, content of this video. So basically, we have created this video for the beginners who want to start their journey in RPA or any of the tools uh, which is related to the RPA domain like UiPath, Automation Anywhere, uh, Power BI or Robocore. So Udo is master in uh, UiPath. So he will uh, guide you how we can begin our journey uh, in UiPath, how to start, which all resources are available uh, in UiPath to start uh, in UiPath uh, developer or UiPath BA as well. So there are different jobs available in the UiPath domain. So you can pick any of one of them, but he is basically having uh, development experience. So he will share insight about the UiPath so that following this video, you can start your journey in UiPath uh, development domain. So our first okay. question is that how you have started your journey in um, RPA domain? Okay. So previously I was working as an automation engineer. So I moved to RPA. So where I learned RPA, I, when I started my journey, there was very less amount of uh, resources available over the internet. So there was one resource like uh, UiPath Academy. I started learning from that. And then I did uh, practice on my personal laptop uh, using that academy and then right now i have seen uh, so many resources available on the internet for so you can start with any youtube videos or you i, I will re recommend you the deepak channel that is the best like he has covered everything from the scratch from like how to read excels how to put data into database and everything he has covered so i'll recommend his channel so you can start with his channel Okay, thank you for recommendation, uh, Mr. Uddha. So uh, let's start with the next questions. So why you have selected only UiPath, not other tools? Because we can see in the RPA domain, there are several applications are available like Automation Anywhere, uh, Blue Prism, UiPath, Power BI, and other tools are also there. Why you have selected only UiPath? So there is a cost reason behind it. Uh, UiPath, uh... And if you compare with other tools like Automation Anywhere or Blue Prism, so the license cost is too much. But uh, with the uh, UiPath, you can, uh, it is very uh, cost efficient. That's why most companies prefer UiPath for uh, process automation because uh, you'll get a chunks. Like you get a UiPath in three parts. First one is Studio, that is for development. Second one is Robot to running that process. And third one is Orchestrator to uh, complete uh, manage that robot. So even if uh, you don't have orchestrator, even you, you can trigger your robots from your windows. So that's why multiple companies choose UiPath. Okay, to brief about the this question. So you have started because of the uh, cost and uh, the ease of use of this application. Like you, yeah. you said uh, that this is divided in the three part uh, where we can use it for the robot uh, development and uh, third for the orchestrator. So that's yeah. a really nice thing uh, with UiPath and uh, application. So let's move to the third part, third questions. Uh, there is a community uh, edition is also available for the UiPath. It is not available with other tools. 
so you can even for practice purpose you can use uipath so that's why most of the companies uh, use uipath for their training and for implementing process so it means uh, for the community version is free uh, for the users who can use it or you want to uh, become expert in the uh, uipath yeah okay so that's a really nice thing uh, we can get it because uh, free resources are not available for every uh, rpa tools uh, so it's a very yeah, interesting yeah. Uh, thing to know that uh, or we can use it at any uh, without any cost and you can do each and every development from this scratch and with by using uipath right correct okay. yeah correct so third question uh, if you are talking about the educational background so if anyone wants to start their career in uipath so which all education background he or she will need to start their career to start with the rpa development like uh, anyone who is having computer background he can start or she can start uh, uh, learning rpa and you should have a basic understanding of languages like dotnet or java to implement the logic so you should have like how loops will work how you will declare variables and basic logic implementation that's only one thing is required so anyone can do the uh, automation using rpa okay so it means uh, no uh, criteria for the educational background anyone can start their journey in uh, rpa domain and uh, they will start using so just basic knowledge of uh, coding is required for this type correct. of uh, using this type of application okay correct that's again a uh, interesting thing so fourth question if you are talking about uh, the resources or learning components are available online or any uh, tools or uh, any other books you have preferred for learning uh, books it is available but there are multiple resources available uh, like i said your channel is also available then there is a ui path academy but the problem with ui path academy is that it is very short and it it is not that much descriptive like uh, that is uh, they don't go into that much detail so if you go through deepak's video you can see like how in depth he has explained everything like uh, reading excel connecting to database and everything so i definitely recommend his channel okay thank you thank you the for recommendation again uh, so next question if you are talking about the hierarchy level so if anyone wants to start their journey and uh, wants to uh, uh, get into the rpa development or ui part development so which is the top most position he can reach or in the uh, organization hierarchy so that totally depends on the organizational structure so where i'm currently working uh, they don't have rpa development as a specific role so they have a technology analyst then senior technology analyst then so solution architect and then rpa manager so that totally depends on the company in which you are working so basically it's like uh, there is there will be a rpa developer then senior rpa developer then there is a solution architect and then there is a rpa manager so the, this is the basic structure that we have in rpa how about the solution architect uh, means uh, the R solution architect is a lesser position as compared to the rpa uh, manager uh yeah that is the second uh, most second highest position okay that's a really uh, use hierarchy in the rpa domain as well so first anyone wants to start their career in uh, rpa development then uh, that person is with uh, as a junior rpa developer then the senior rpa developer then again uh, you can consider a team lead solution architect and the rpa manager as well even that the, the, it, the organization structure yes yes definitely so if you are talking about the business analyst part i also so there is also a, a same type of or almost same type of hierarchy is available in uh, rpa domain as well correct yes yes so how about the salary structure if you are talking about the uh, salary structure of a uh, junior rpa developer or senior rpa developer how it is fine I mean if you are categorized in the bucket 1 to 3 years then 4 uh, to 6 years or just like that that again totally depends on the organization like if you are in service based company then there is a higher salary structure and if you working with product based company then there will be a less chances of getting higher package so as per my experience i'll tell you like 1 to 3 years experience so you'll definitely get 5 plus 
फाइव लैक्स पैकेज ओके फाइव लैक्स पर ईयर या तो व्हाट अबाउट द फर्दर मींस आर देयर इंक्रीमेंट चांसेस एंड ऑल uh there will be like uh, 30 to 40 percent hike each year for api developer because everyone wants to do automation and they want to reduce human task so there is a uh, industry needs highly um, highly uh, standard api developer so they are they are going to pay that much salary to you so it means the industry standard will always uh, needed the high skill uh, rpa developer who is having each and every uh, knowledge of uh, rpa development and they will connect with each and every component right yeah okay correct that's uh, again a huge advantage for the beginners who want to start their journey because nowadays if you are talking about the it industry so it industry uh, some of the uh, developers or artists are working on the package of 8000 per month so uh, this is uh, how you can say that it's a just like a type of crisis but if you are talking about the rp development uh, definitely the packages are more so again uh, again a uh, plus point for the rp developer correct okay now moving to the next question if you are talking about uh, the rp development phase so i have heard of with many of the uh, development uh, organization on or, or many of the social media post uh, so rp is basically used for the process automation so how we can uh, you can summarize this content so rp is only used for the uh, process automation or we can use it for the other development as well or uh, uh, in testing as well which type of projects basically uh, available for the rp so rp is like a robotic process automation that means it will automate the manual process like it is built to automate manual process it is not built for automating testing process so my and company any company will recommend you to implement rpa using uipath they don't uh, uh, allow you to implement the testing using rpa so that's a basic thing like you need to understand rpa is for process automation not for testing but you can implement that is a technology you can tweak it but uh, but as a uh, practical way you should implement only process using rpa tools not testing so testing is possible but uh, it will cost you right yeah okay. correct so means there are multiple can... tools available free of cost like you can use selenium for uh, testing automation okay. why you are using license version of uip to just to do a testing so it's better way to do a process automation using ui path rather than testing okay that's a really thing means if you want to automate the hr processes or any other process which is, which will require the uh, maximum uh, human resources so okay. we can do it by using this type of application like uh, rp uh, rp development yeah that's okay. again a, a very much positive point for the rp development and uh, quick insight about the uh, automation tools we are talking about so if you want to use it rpa development for the testing purpose but you have uh, so that much amount of budget then you can start using the uh, rpa uh, tool in testing otherwise you can use the freeware tools uh, available in the market as said by the shrita right correct so uh, which type of projects uh, you have worked uh, as of now means if you are talking about any specific uh, i'm not uh, i don't want to uh, show up the exact project but you can uh, uh, plus out the names like um, healthcare domain or uh, media domain so something like that i'm purely into a bfsa domain that is uh, banking domain okay. so we also automated some hr processes and some transaction processes using ui path so i'm purely into a banking domain so is it possible to use it for the other domain as well or we can use it only for the uh, banking domain no there is not any criteria like you cannot use in healthcare or insurance domain wherever there is a manual process you can use ui path first you need to understand that process if it is a manual process then you can automate it using uh, ui path so how how you can uh, found the feasible this application uh, as you said in the earlier uh, earlier discussion uh, you have started your career in automation testing so how you recommend our users to start their career and which all the uh, plus points uh, you will consider here so like it's it's easy to learn 
And so there are multiple resources available on the internet so you can learn uh, RPA. Then second point is the salary. You will get a hike of uh, like 30 to 40 percent on your package uh, you know, if you move to your RPA. So these are the two points that you need to consider while moving to RPA. So that's the only thing like that is very important. Okay. So how you feel this uh, tool is easy to use or uh, this is a complex? So anyone, if anyone uh, is not having a coding uh, background, then how much easy for them to start? Okay. So uh, so where we do development, like it's, there is one uh, studio, we call it studio that uh, where we do development. So there are multiple activities available, like you can drag and drop that activities. So it is very easy to use and it's very user friendly. And if you have a basic understanding of logic implementation, then you can use this tool. So it is not like uh, you don't need a hardcore coding background to implement RPA process. Okay. So it's very easy to learn. So uh, if we can uh, sum up uh, this thing, so we can see that uh, this tool is drag and drop. We can use it and according to our requirement, right? Okay. Yeah, but so. there are multiple cases like uh, where you you need to implement some different language code and that you need to invoke it through UiPath. Like there are some conditions that you cannot do it in UiPath. Suppose you want to implement a graphical, uh, you want to implement a graph in Excel, that facility is not available in UiPath. So for that you need to write .NET code and then that .NET code you need to invoke through UiPath. So that totally depends on the process. Like what logic you are implementing. So that's the thing. Okay. That's a, uh, and again, interesting uh, point you are considering here. So it's totally dependent on your requirement and tools uh, which you have uh, doing the development uh, for the, uh, for any specific okay. project, right? So if you're talking about the automation perspective, how much is possible to automate by using uh, RPA and uh, how much we can not cover by using this tool? Uh, any tool we are talking about, uh, UiPath or P tool or any tool. So, so if that, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt too. If I'm considering or uh, giving the example of uh, RPA is one side and second side in the on the other automation tools in the market. So that again totally depends on your process. Like first you need to understand your process, how much part you can automate using uh, using UiPath. So there are like RPA life cycle. You need to go through that life cycle. Then you will understand like which part you are going to automate and which part you are going to trigger manually. So when you see that process, you understand that then you document that process. Then and only you will be able to understand like this is the part that we can automate. And this is the part that we cannot automate using any tool. So there is, there will not be any hundred percent automation. There might, might be a something that you need to trigger manually or you need to integrate it with something else. So that totally depends on your process. Okay. So if we are comparing all the, uh, with other tools, uh, is it possible to give in the percentage, how much percentage is possible to automate with this uh, RPA tool or UiPath tool or, uh, um, how much is possible in the selenium? So selenium is just name. But uh, we can consider other automation tools, which is available in the market. That again, I cannot give you percentage because that depends on the process. But if that process is totally manual, so that you can achieve the hundred percent automation. Like we have implemented processes uh, where we covered hundred percent automation. So you can cover like everything, or you you can automate using UI path. So in out of your whole career. So you are used only for the uh, development or uh, developing our application or uh, uh, for the process automation, or you have developed some of this script related to the testing as well. So previously for 1.8 years, I was working as a automation engineer. And then from there I'm working as an RPA developer. Currently I'm working as an RPA. No, I'm talking about the only uh, uh, UI part development experience. So out of your whole or uh, you have had our RP development experience. So if we, if I can say you have worked on the 10 project out of 10, how many you have uh, did it for the process automation and the rest of that in the uh, testing only. So all project I have done in uh, process automation. So there is no any testing background. Okay. That's a nice one. 
So how how you are uh, giving your feedback means uh, if you have any suggestion for our viewer who is watching this and you want to start their career so how they will start any feedback from your uh, your side any tips which they can refer uh, for learning so okay when you when you are going to start your uh, career in automation using rpa so you need to practice a lot so you, uh, so try to implement small small project and then try to integrate those projects so you'll get a, a complete understanding of how process will work like how you will do integration and how different modules will work so practice is, is the key to get success so like you get an excel and then try to write data into excel and then dump that data to database and everything do it everything from the scratch then and only you will be able to understand how rpa works so that's a tip from my side so very uh, very nice points you have said so uh, anyone who wants to start their career in rpa domain they have to start small small use cases based on the use cases they will reach to the uh, final level uh, you can say that uh, whenever you will do the practice for each and every uh, use cases in detail you will found out some difficulties search from the uh, internet or uh, seek a guidance from the uh, rpa or your part developer rpa developer who is expert in their domain so once you will clarify your doubts definitely you will uh, at one day you will definitely reach in the expert level in rpa development field so uh, that's all about uh, this video so thank you very much uh, mr udav who will join and share your experience with our viewer i am really appreciate your effort and uh, sharing your knowledge with our uh, your path or rpa uh, community it's a very 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 nice content and you've shared deep insight about uh, the rpa development thank you very much thank you deepak thank you for your time thank you so much